What's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pix for Life video tutorial. Today is going to be an Illustrator quick tip that's going to be focused around measuring, rulers, guides, and all that good stuff. So let's quickly jump right into it. So starting off, I just want to make sure that you're set up in a proper way. And the proper way is my way. I do everything perfectly. I'm just kidding. Anyhow, I like to always work with my rulers up. And to quickly bring up your rulers, you just click on Command R and it brings it up. Or you can go over to View rulers hide or show rulers there you go and then secondly uh, let's make sure that your units of measurement are set up properly well whatever way that you'd like to do it I like to work in either pixels or inches typically in inches because I'm usually doing something with printing and I like to go by the numbers so to do that you can either come over you can either click command K and it brings up your preferences or you can come over to your illustrator preferences and then click on over here and units and you can change it to inches or whatever you want and while we have this open let's click on our guides and you can see I don't remember what the default is but I changed my guide colors to light blue and dots this just makes it a little bit easier and a little more clear for me to see and I'll show you what that looks like if I drag out a guide here you can see I get dotted lines, it's just better for me. You can mess around and your mileage might vary. Okay, so the second thing is gonna be working with the guide ruler. So typically when you're trying to line up a ruler, let's say we wanna put one below this type here. If we're bringing it here, you see it does not snap to anything, so we kinda of have to just guess at the perfect spot for it. And for something like this, it's fairly easy. And sometimes it makes it even harder, but to take the guesswork out of it, if you <clears throat> select the shape, or you might not even have to select the shape, but if you click a guide and you draw closely to where our point is at, you'll see it snaps the guide right to there. Big lifesaver. Okay, and now that we're focused on guides, if you can see over in the top left, you can see the zero starts at the edge of the artboard. Let's say you wanna do something special. You can click the top left here and you'll see it brings up this cross here and you can have it so it sets to zero at wherever you drop the ruler. So you can drop it, drop it right here, and this is where it zeroes up, is this top left corner here, and then you can measure out from there. And then bring it back to the artboard, just double click this top left corner, and there you go. Okay, one great thing that I love about Adobe products is being able to have it do the math for you. So let's say you draw out a box like this, and let's say it's the width of a website, for instance, like this and you have a lot of text that you want to put in here. So you want to separate it into three even columns. Now you can measure it out. You can get the measurements of this by looking up here, 8.5 inches. So you can do 8.5 divided by three and you can type that in. Or you can select on here and just do some math in here, 8.5 divided by three and it brings it up to one third. So you can see that if we duplicate it over, it's a perfect third. And that works for not just division, but you also multiply it times two and what have you. So, or you can do plus 99 pixels even. So you can use either any sort of measurement. You don't have to stick with inches. So you can just say, I want to subtract five pixels from there and it'll remove, remove it from there. Okay, as we were talking about with creating three even columns here, another way of doing that, let me clear out my guides so if I go if I I can just right click and go to unlock guides select it and delete my guides that's just a free tip for you right there so let's say we want to make this into three columns a three column grid to quickly do that you can either uh, draw out a box like we did before we draw out a box here and let's go to the fill color and divide it by three bring it over here draw out a ruler Bring it over here, draw out a ruler, and oops, don't delete your guides. So there we go, we have three even columns, but that was a little time consuming. And it would be annoying if you have to do even more guides. So to quickly create a guide, we have to draw out a box here. Object, path, and then over here you want to have split into guide. Okay, so in here, you can see we have rows and columns. Rows go horizontally, columns are vertical. So we can change this to, let's say zero. Uh, maybe it doesn't like that. 
let's change it to three here and then we can have a gutter and the gutter is the distance between each column or each row so if you want a space between them we can add that here to 15 pixels and then add guides and you can click on preview if you want to see what that looks like and just to show you what the gutter looks like let's do 10 pixels and you can see it's the distance in between there okay and I guess you can't take the zero it has to be at least one which makes sense so if you click OK on that, you'll see that it will create the guides for you out of there. And then one last thing is the measurement tool. And I don't typically use this. I haven't found a need for it. Is if you click on here, go to measure, you can click on one point, drag down, and you'll see on the right hand screen on that info box. I was trying to point with my finger, but that didn't, you can't see me. In that info box there, you can see the height. The way that I typically measure something is actually just to do it like this. So I make a box, so go to the one point, go to the other point, and drag out. And then I use that box as my measurement. So you can see up here that the height is 1.7901. So it's the same thing as the measurement. So that just finds it, that's just a little easier for me. Whatever, whatever one you prefer, either one works. All right, awesome. Hope you learned something new. If there's any tutorial requests that you have, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.